Good morning, folks. We've got a CME impact expected tonight. There's much more going on at the sun. We've got weather woes, eye candy, the invisible, and another disaster cycle confirmation as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun a bit snappy. Active regions are spitting tight jets, as you saw in the opening red view, filaments ejecting off the limb, coronal hole approaching center disk. We're basically at the precipice of sunspot maximum conditions, just a bit more development in the sunspots which will easily come over the next few months. And there's even more coming we can't see. Behind the active regions we identified yesterday and which are now coming off the limb towards Earth-facing position. So, let's label those incoming spots as 1 and 2, coming in from the left here. And then let's go see Stereo A's shot, which can see a bit behind the limb. 1 and 2 are here from its view, and indeed the bright signature at the limb of stereo is what's coming in next, right behind it. It's one after another. Anyone with our textbook would do well to review section 7.2 on Earth spots, because we've got one clearly triggered by the M-class solar flare two nights ago, the one that sent the CME our way, which we expect tonight. At the turn of the day, UTC, the sun shines on the Indian Ocean and Africa, and there we find a surprise cyclone strengthening quickly and heading for Madagascar. The storm is heading directly west and will pound the island nation at the end of the week and into the weekend. I was also looking at how nice the temperatures appeared for February across most of the U.S., and then I pulled the shifted jet stream look forecast for tonight and what we will wake up to tomorrow, and uh, record cold, record snow, and lots and lots of ice is coming. That's going to be fun. Let's quickly hit our article, starting with the eye candy of the Chameleon Cloud 1, a star-forming region, Herbig Harrow objects, and star-inflated bubbles. The cosmos is clearly a greater artist than any here on Earth. And that is just what we can see. Sharks has revealed a million new sources that are invisible to our eyes. It's specialized infrared view. This is a step above Spitzer, and the infrared capabilities of Hubble, revealing what they could not see before. And last but not least, you have a choice. You can choose to see this and everything like it so far and all the papers that will still be coming in the future as repetitive and boring. Or, you can see the field continue to fortify the awareness of cycles of DOs and Heinrich events, and when you recall that they are hitting at the solar superflare cycles, climate science and the reality of the coming disaster of our age should settle in with the horror of it tempered by your knowing, you have the eyes to see what's coming. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.